a uh, couple of things here right now. Harvey went five, left up uh, five three, so he gave three runs in five innings. All right, not great, but not bad. Uh, now the Giants are trying to rally in the sixth. They have the bases loaded with one out. Uh, against the pen, so we'll see what happens there. I have the field uh, for the uh, Preakness now. We'll do the Preakness on Friday. Brad will be on. Um, let me say this. This is the weakest this is the weakest field in a long time to challenge a good horse, to challenge an incumbent. We've had some weak Preak- uh, Belmonts because nobody left, but um, Justify is one to two morning line. There's only eight horses in the race. The only legitimate horse that came after him was Good Magic, who ran second. Other than that, this field is dotted with horses that really would be very content to finish third, being honest. You know, with maybe the exception of the the rail horse, who is the Tampa Bay winner. Um, You have Quip, the Tampa Bay winner, Kim Bay Derby winner on the rail. Lone Sailor, who finished eighth in the Derby for Tom Amos, is uh, number two. Sporting Chance, which is D. Wayne. Horse won the uh, hopeful, but he's not a distance. He's not going to get that route of ground. Diamond King. John Service, that's a local horse. Uh, Good Magic, which is Chad Brown's horse, the two-year-old champ, second in the Derby. Legitimate horse, legitimate chance, legitimate everything. Uh, Could very well become this year's sham. Um, tenfold, the Arkansas Derby winner. Uh, excuse me, uh, not winner. Finished fifth in the Arkansas Derby. Tenfold. Um, Justify one to two, undefeated. Baffert says every bit as good, if not better, than American Pharaoh. Says doing everything right. I will be shocked if this horse doesn't win the Derby. Wasn't win the Preakness. Now, you never know about the Belmont. There'll be other horses waiting at the Belmont. Some of the horses that ran in the, in the, in the Derby, they didn't run back. Some new people. But this horse, boy, I'll tell you, he, imagine getting another one of those. If there's, I mean, it's amazing with him, isn't it? Amazing how many of these he wins. Baffert. Uh, and then uh, Bavazo, which is another D. Wayne horse, was sixth in the Derby. So D. Wayne has a couple in. D. Wayne's won the Preakness a lot. Uh, he's got a couple in this race. D. Wayne must be, what, 85? He's got to be 85, right? Baffett, Baffett's idol, obviously. You know, he's he came up in, he's 82, Wayne. And Wayne is still in, really, st- boy, I tell you, the Reds have made a couple of great catches in this game. That was a great catch. Really a great catch. That's just saved two runs, too. They've saved at least four runs with their gloves in this game. Um, Wayne is a pretty spry 82. It really is. So we'll do that on Friday, uh, and then we'll have Aaron Boone on Friday, too. The Yankees not playing tomorrow. In action on Friday after not, uh, after not being able to get anything done in Washington. So they'll be in action on Friday. We'll talk to Boone then. Mets lose, lose today 12-1. to 1. They get tomorrow off also. So both teams get tomorrow off. The Mets will be opening up a weekend set with Arizona. Yankees will be in Kansas City, followed by a trip to Texas. Uh, Both teams have uh, tomorrow off. And the off days are going to start to be few and far between with the games they have to make up. The Yankees will make up the games in Washington on the 18th of June. Jeff in Oceanside, what's up, Jeff? Hey, Mike. How you doing? Good, what's up? As you know, Harvey actually only won four innings. Oh, he didn't didn't pitch the fifth inning? No, four innings, seven runs. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't four, no, four innings, three, three hits. Three runs. I'm sorry, right. Yeah, yeah seven hits. Well, I didn't hits, realize so he didn't pitch the fourth as fifth inning. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I thought he pitched five. I, I didn't look in the fifth, but I figured he pitched five. He only pitched four? Only four, well, I wonder why they took him out again. How many how many pitches had he thrown? 78 pitches in four I innings. guess they have a number they're working with him on, but boy, they didn't give him a fifth inning. It's twice he left with the lead and, and didn't get a win. He's not very good anymore, Mike. No, no, that was a, not a good performance today. Go ahead. What's on your mind? All right. My Mets. You know, I'm a big Mets fan, Mike. You know that. You got to – I can't do Wheeler anymore. You got to give Zellman or Lugo a chance. I, I can't stand Wheeler. I mean, you can't blow a game up when it's one nothing in the third or fourth inning. One more time. Wheeler's got to go out of the rotation. I, I, I'd rather see Zellman or Lugo in there. 
I mean, it's a one nothing game, and then it's six nothing. You know, uh, listen. The problem is they don't have anybody to compliment those two. And I mean, Matt's has given them a little something. Uh, Matt has been okay. It's been okay the last two. They they don't really have anybody, and if they can't win when the big two pitch, and they haven't won when the big two pitch their last three or four times around, okay. Uh, so uh, you know, I you know, they just got to be they have to be perfect when those guys pitch to have any chance. Absolutely perfect. Tom and Watson, what's up, Tom? Mike, first thing, welcome back. It's been Thank you. a great pick me up for this dreary spring so far. Thank you. Quick question for you. Are you sure that there will be legalized gambling in places like Yonkers Raceway Casino and, you know, the Resorts World in Queens by the time football season starts? I, I, I don't know what New York's going to do. Uh, uh, I, I can't say for sure how this is going to work. That's the, 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 that's the logical, but I can't say for sure how quickly this is going to work state to state. Um, how much bidding New York is going to take. I mean, are they going to open up to active bidding on this? Do they have only going to let the people who are already in the business, the relationships that they have already with existing operators, only let them apply? I don't know how this is going to work, uh, Tom, state to state. I think uh, we know what Jersey's going to do. We know where Jersey is on it. Uh, I, I don't know what this I, – I can't answer. I don't know what New York State's plans are. I really don't know. I don't know what Connecticut's plans are. I think state to state, I just don't know what, how long it's going to take. I really don't know yet on that. I don't know how many, P, how, I don't know how many operators are going to allow. I don't know what they're going to want from these operators. It's very much up in the air right now. I don't have a lot of answers on that. Willie in New Jersey, what's up, Willie? What's up? Hello? All right, I don't know where he went. Mike in uh, New Jersey, uh, New York. Mike in Maybrook. What's up, Mike? I'm well, Michael. Thanks for taking my call. Before I ask my question, I'm, I'm glad that you're embracing these new ways to share content with the show. And um, just to reiterate, because you said, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to respond to everything. These are social media platforms that are interactive. So, you know, get some of that Mike uh, money towards a $225,000 a year internet content experts and you'll be able to do that interactive part. No, 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 no. Listen, you, listen if you have, if you, ha you cannot spend all day though on, on, a, on a Twitter account where you can have thousands of responses, I cannot answer all these things. It's impossible. I mean, no, you just, hire people to do it. No, 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 not no, you. that's not, I don't want to do that. I, I, that's not what I'm looking to do. When there's a response on there, it'll be from me. I'm not going to, I'm not going to have people on there to going to answer for me. That's not what that's about. When there's content okay. on there, it'll be I, from me. That's it. The, yeah, I was so, looking basically no, for can, the interactive I, component. That's very hard to do. I mean, and most of the guys who have significant platforms where they have a lot of followers, okay, uh, right. like Bill Simmons or somebody like that, cannot be done. I mean, you know, we're talking about a very big volume of follow, followers. It just, it's just, it's a very hard thing to do from that standpoint. It's virtually impossible. From what I've been told to do, it's going to be very, very hard. You're talking about a very high volume of followers on, on these things. I mean, that's just the way it works. You're fortunate enough that you have that, but you cannot answer to them. I mean, it's just it, there's just no way to do it. And, you know, you don't want to just cherry pick and do it and hit and run. So I, I would say that there will, the, the content will be for me, but I will not be answering to people who send comments because it's just not, it's just not feasible. It, that that's how I how I've been led to believe it's just not feasible to be done. It's just there's just too many of them. So from that standpoint, it'll just be the content will be sent out and that's it. But the content when it's on there, when it comes on the Twitter, it'll be mine. It won't be from anybody else. It won't be from anyone we hire or anything else. It will be mine. Now, if it's on the mics on, it would just be a publicity thing saying, you know, or a promotion saying coming up tonight, this or coming up tomorrow, this or that kind of thing. Or what's on the show tomorrow. That's different. But that wouldn't have to be me. But the other one, when it comes up, there's a comment that's, you know, you'll know it's me by the tone of it. But it's going to be me doing it. Mike in Albany. What's up, Mike? Mike, how you doing? What's happening? I'm so glad you hit on earlier the Gardner and a Hicks situation. Never been a big fan of either one of these guys. My brother Mark's a big Twins fan. When the Yankees got him, he said, tell me a little bit about him. He said he came up as a five-tool player, but he can't hit. That's why the, that's why the Yankees can't got hit. him. Can't. He can't hit. 
And I don't know if the cash. But I, I don't. Like, I don't think Gardner's. I think Gardner's had too useful a career to be put in that group. But Mike, the reason why I say it, if you add up Gardner's numbers for his career, and I have them in front of me, but I think it's something like twelve homers, fifty-two RBIs, and two sixty-five, and he's like your starting outfielder. There's no way they're going to resign him next year. He's a free agent. They're not going to resign him. And the guy, the him. guy, the guy. First of all, he's been on the Yankees for a very long time. Yeah, right? longest tenure Yankees. Right. So he's been here a long time. He has been a he's been a solid, not spectacular, but solid leadoff guy. He's always been a very good effort guy. He's been a exceptionally a plus outfielder. The biggest disappointment on him is that he cannot steal a base when he has to. That's no, right. You can't but even, where you where you are really being unfair to him is between 2010 and last year. This guy averaged about 92 to 94 runs a year. That's his job. That is his job. That is what 97, 87, 87, 94, 80, 96. That is his job. He's not, he's no, not Mike, a home. But that, no, but, right. And that's what he's supposed to do is get on base, see a million pitches. Nobody saw more pitches in baseball. And he gets on base at a reasonable number, not as good as it used to be, but still 350, 360. And see a lot of pitches and score runs and that's what he's done and he's been a he hasn't been a, hasn't been an all-star player he's been a solid solid contributor who has been a hustler and a plus defender and a very solid guy at the top of the lineup now Mike here's where I disagree with you a little bit here when you're talking about Clint Frazier earlier see I look at this guy like he's an outfield of the future here because I don't think they're going to resign Gardner hopefully they buy out Ellsbury's contract and and you're right Hicks is a, is a bench player but this guy's good. They're going with a youth movement, and I don't think they're going to package him in the trade because if, for a pitcher because if they go after a pitcher, it's going to be like a five-starter. And with this offense, all you need is your five-starter like Herman right now. You, you That's need to not go what they five need. If you're going to match up with the – if you're going to match up and, – and let's say you're playing the Astros and they have, they have Verlander and they have Cole and they have Morton – and they have obviously the Yankee killer who hasn't been good this year. But if he gets back to anywhere in the air, and their fifth starter shut the Yankees down last year in McCullers, you can't go in there with a fifth starter and try to beat them. You can't go in there with a surplus guy. I, see, right, but don't ask me now in May what guy, what team is going to fall out of it and what pitch is going to be available. But I guarantee you there will be good pitches available. People are going to start with Torres. They're going to be told, take a, take a hike, okay? That Torres is untouchable, completely untouchable. Frazier can't be untouchable if you want to get a good pitcher. He cannot be untouchable. He shouldn't be untouchable. I'm not even sure Andahar would be untouchable. I don't think he would be. But Frazier will not be untouchable, uh, and, and and nor should he be untouchable. Uh, I think Torres has to be untouchable. I think he will be a multiple-time All-Star. The only guy I can see the Yankees going after, and you're right, who knows what's going to happen in July. I always thought this Michael Fulmer from Detroit, mm -hmm. they're going to drop out of it and stuff. So well, no, he's, <laughs> he's, a, he's definitely available. The question is what you got to give up to get him. Right, he's 26 years old. Now, if you're going to give up Frazier and a couple of players, you yeah, absolutely have a goal for that because Detroit's going to fall off pretty soon and stuff, and he's going to be available. But as far as a big-name pitcher and a, young, and a young pitcher, too, nobody's going to give up. Nobody's going to give away these guys unless you give up a Torres and Andujar, which the Yankees aren't going to do. So, well, you I see, I, I disagree. I think the Yankees would give up Andahar if it meant if it meant winning. So? I, oh, absolutely. First of all, I, I'm not even. First, first of all, I'm not even sure Andahar is. See, I think Torres is automatic. I don't think Andahar is automatic. I, I think Andahar is a nice player. I don't. I don't think he looks to me as a guy that I say can't miss or a fixture who's going to be here forever. I think Torres is can't miss. Absolute can't oh, miss. Right. I, I, I don't see. I, I don't put Andahar in that class. I did not put him in Torres's class. Back after this.